Hi, this is Shadi. Today's story comes from the translator Eric Shehan. I suggest you look at his books. I will link them in the description below. So, today's story is from 1908. is a story when Mitsuyo Maeda himself goes with Yukio Tani. Here you see him in front of you to Oldham City in England. So he had a wrestling match, but Tani was a little bit heavier than his opponent. So what he does is simply reduce his food in the last three days of the competition, as well as taking a Turkish bath. So anyone familiar with Turkish bath is basically similar to sauna, where you actually dry out and release a lot of fluids from your body. So even back then, 1908, they understood quick ways to reduce your weight in the last few days before the competition. And one of them was shedding a lot of water weight. And uh, it's, again, you know, be, them being in jujitsu and judo, you would think that being Japanese, there's no weight limit and they would fight anyone in competition. And that's what they did. But in the West, uh, people had their conditions and weight categories and he had to uh, oblige. So he had to restrict his food and do Turkish baths. So this reminds me of my last competition in April. Uh, on the last week of the competition, just four days before, actually, it was the Wednesday evening and the competition was Sunday morning. So I had less than four days, actually. So three and a half days. And I was, I believe, maybe three kilograms heavier than I should be. And they really needed me for a team competition. And that's where the panic happened. And I was like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll, uh, it's just at night because you have all this food in your stomach. And I should be fine. I should make it. But it was not as easy as I thought. Uh, and I'm not a competitor, so I don't do this often usually. And I dehydrated myself thoroughly, so much so that I barely got like 30 minutes of sleep the day before the competition because I was just so dehydrated and exhausted and hungry and your body does not want to sleep at this point. So uh, I made weight. Uh, I lost actually more than I should, but nonetheless, I did make weight. Uh, it was very unhealthy, but I would say two to three weeks afterwards, my eating pattern was still not the same at first. I ate everything in sight. Uh, it's like my body just did a huge rebound. And and I'm sure it's not just me. I'm sure a lot of competitors go through this uh, as well. And uh, it must be very difficult and very unhealthy. So my advice is know your schedule prior. Diet slowly. Don't be one of those who diet a complete weight category. Just where your natural weight limit is, maybe you need to gain two kilos or just lose two kilos and that should be it for most people. But uh, everything else, a lot of people, I know they lose sometimes 10 to 11 kilograms to make a weight category, which is incredibly unhealthy. So uh, if you have a weight cutting story, let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.